1955, from the Far East came the story of a dangerous mission. This is the American Seventh Fleet, prowling the storm-lashed sea, pitching carriers prepared to launch planes. Scores of aircraft waited for the signal that would send them hurtling into the heavens. Their mission? To provide air coverage for the evacuation of the Tachin Islands. Difficult task began amid communist threats that the operation could mean war. Victims of war were being exiled from islands where their ancestors had lived for more than a thousand years. Many were barefoot in the mud and near freezing cold. In solemn lines, they wound their crooked way to the beach. For three days, the stream of refugees crowded into the landing craft. Almost 20,000 men, women, and children had been removed when the last boatload of civilians headed out to the ships in the harbor. But still, there was no sign of the communists, who, after talking tough, failed to challenge the 75 ships of the 7th Fleet, mightiest armada assembled since the Incheon landing during the Korean War. As each frightened youngster was lifted to safety, eager arms offered reassurance, for the young were the most pathetic victims of the communist threat. On the islands, the withdrawal of troops and materiel got underway. More than 8,000 tons of ammunition were salvaged, along with more than 100 guns and scores of trucks. Marching toward the beaches came the 11,000 soldiers who manned the Tachins, 200 miles north of Formosa. Before abandoning the islands, demolition crews prepared to dynamite the elaborate underground military installations in caves and tunnels. The last explosives in place, the charges were set off. Scorched and smoking, the Tachins waited for their communist masters. A milestone of human courage in this century was ended.